folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today's gonna be a little bit different. Once again, we've got things going on here on the farm. So if you watch the vlogs and you came to the channel from the video where a car ran off in my pond, it was very concerning to me. All I had to do was make one phone call and boom, these guys are putting up a guardrail. So today they're putting up the guardrail. I've always been curious of how this works and how the guardrail goes up. They have a tractor trailer up here that drives itself. It's really, really cool. So I'm gonna take you, show you how all this works, and we'll have a little bit of fun today. We'll show you how a guardrail works, how it all works, how it all goes together. Let's have some fun, all right? Woo! Stony Bridge. So what's going on here back behind me is there's a tractor trailer loaded up with rails for the guardrail and basically they drive along, they drive the post down, and then they bolt up the guardrail system. Very interesting, very neat. The state I live in, North Carolina, has just came up with some new laws. So these are a new style guardrail right here and I'll show you a little bit about them. Basically the old style guardrail was causing people to get hurt. The new style guardrail is like a softer, like a NASCAR type softer rail to hit so in other words there's a more of a cushion behind it and I'll show you that too so this is the system the rail system and this is basically a hard plastic right here and it mounts up to the post which has been driven down into the ground here and all this was built today and basically it bolts in right here loosely see how loose that is I can actually get my finger in behind it so that the rail actually has a little bit of movement when someone hits it and it doesn't hurt them pretty interesting to me so here's how they mark the rail system and basically it's a row of iron stakes that's strung off with mason string all the way through to make them a nice straight line all the way through here to protect cars from running off in my pond and you can still see some of the damage right there from where the car ran off in the pond now here's what I was telling you about. See that tractor trailer? It's moving. But there's nobody in it. Nobody driving that tractor trailer. It's driven by a guy in the rear. So this is the pounding apparatus. And it pounds it into the ground. Looks like it pounds it in the ground until it reaches where that string is. And he picks it up, and then this guy is the one that drives the tractor trailer. That's so interesting. So he's leveling up the post and then he just pounds it in with a set of weights. Nice. Now these guys pull off a rail and they hang the rail up. Puts a nut on the other side, and they run them down tight. These boys have it down to a fine art. So this is Dale Jr.'s little brother, <laughs> uh, Kale Jr., and he's the one driving the truck running the show up here. How does that thing work? Yeah. Well, it's got a system of hydraulics on it. Okay. Everything moves with the levers. Gotcha. It's, uh, it's got a turntable system. Everything runs off the machine. Gotcha. And uh, you you drive the truck from right there with a lever? Is that how it yeah, works? With okay. A lever, yeah. It's got a PTO on the transmission. It makes the truck move. Okay. Now, do you uh, do you set the uh, steering on the tractor up front first? Yeah. Is it locked in or? Is yeah. It's locked in the gear. Okay. Lock the clutch in and then. It's 
The hot draw through the rim. Gotcha. Now you're going so slow, you'll know when it gets off. If it starts to get off, you'll know you go up. Do you make an adjustment from yeah. back here, or yeah, do you, you do it? If you drop drop a gear, you can pull the heel a little better. You okay. Know, change gears just like you would in a normal vehicle. Gotcha. Now, do you have any steering control in the back here? Yeah. Okay, so you can steer it right yeah, from the back. I have leverage for the steering. Call them off. Right on. Cool. Kale Jr., baby. <laughs> Woo! So the superintendent there was telling me how all this works and what the difference in the new North Carolina guardrail and the old guardrail was. Well, it used to be where there was a joint, like right here, where it's bolted together, there would be a post in behind that joint, and it was doubled up, so it was really thick and really hard. When the post was behind it, it basically made it like hitting a brick wall. So if you were to hit the guardrail, the design of the guardrail is such that when you hit it, it pushes the guardrail sideways. But once you hit that post where it was doubled up, it would kick you back out into the road and it could really harm you. So the new style guardrail, really the only difference is this little piece right here where it's bolted together, there's no post behind it. And these guys are learning this. This is a brand new system for them. Now he's putting in the end piece right here and this is the end piece that goes on the very end for our car to strike and it gives way a whole lot easier than the old style. And I believe he's on a rock right here. That's a different style post if you look. You can see those notches. That's different than this style post right here. There's holes in it. And this is a little bit bigger and it breaks away. It's designed to break away. You can see how it flops. So the end post here is just a little bit different. That's a different apparatus at the top here. That thing right there will crush some bones. If you got your hand caught in that, that'd be the last you saw your hand. While this thing is pounding, guys, it is shaking the ground beneath my feet. This is the part that I was really curious about, how this end piece slides on here, and it's a breakaway piece, so when you hit it, it breaks away and it doesn't hurt you. Well, it doesn't hurt you as bad. This is hard work, guys. You gotta admire good old American ingenuity and hard work. You guys have it down to a science. Well, they got to get a hold of them and pull them tight together. He's got to run a bolt in. Now they all work together as a team to get this bracing up against that post. That bracing is pretty far off from that post. There it is. The cable's made the whole tension on the rail, and when it's impacted from the end, from, when the car hits it, it, it keeps it tight so it pulls, and the head slides along the rail, and it rolls it out the back side of the head there so it don't protrude the car. The rail goes in, yeah, it'll slide in. Slide out. 
Well folks, I hope you learned a little bit on today's journey, on today's farm vlog. Click that like button, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. We're going to show you a whole lot of stuff like this on the farm vlog. We're going to show you how the farm grows and how the farm works and how everything works around the farm. We're basically taking a 200 acre piece of bare land and turning it into a working farm. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the farm vlog. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and share this, guys. Share it on Facebook, share it on social media. Get the word out. Stony Ridge Farmer will show you some pretty cool stuff. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. All right? Woo! Yeah. Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife, bring your kids, and live in life. Here and sweet, that's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Guys, this is the first time I've ever heard of anybody asking the government for anything and getting it right away. Pretty awesome. Very impressed. Thank you to my county and thank you to my state of North Carolina. What a great place to live. Come on back and see me now.